Amen. We thank you for those that are in the tabernacle this morning. We thank you, God, for those that be watching either live or take delay at a later time. We just love the Lord and thank you for his goodness. We in the month of September. Uh, my sister-in-law posted on Facebook yesterday. It's like 115 days to Christmas. But anyway, uh, Christmas is it, it's like the, the change in the season, ready or not, it's going to come, whether you want it to or not. Amen. Uh, well, I know we got another hot week of uh, another week of hot weather this week. Uh, it's going to keep preaching it up each day, be in the mid to upper 90s by the end of the week. But anyway. But we know that fall is just around the corner. Amen. And so we also know that with the, with the signs and things that's going on in our world, that Jesus is coming back. Amen. 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 I've been in ministry over 50 years. And in the other 50 years, I've seen so many people hurt in church. Church. Or also seen people in the church uh, been in the church for years, maybe not been been hurt, but they feel like that they weren't really needed, but they were there. And I want to pastor and I was talking a month or two or so ago, and in our conversations, God birthed this message, and God said, "Today's the day to talk about it." Amen. Amen. Um, I'm gonna go to two different locations in Scripture, but we want to go to Romans chapter twelve, verse one. To start off with. Now, I don't know how far down I'm going to read, but I just need to read a, a little bit of it. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy, acceptable to God which is your reasonable service. And do not be conformed to this world, but be you transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove that what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Talk a little about this verse here. On the Sunday, before I got saved, I had a mindset of things that I wanted to do. Things I was planning to do, say, on a Monday. I was 17 years old. I was in high school at the time. I drove a school bus. Um, but when I gave my heart to God, I presented, and you did too, yourself to God. And Paul is saying here in this scripture, and do not be conformed to this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. What that entailed, when I gave my heart to Jesus, my mindset, things I wanted to do, changed. My mindset won't on drinking anymore. My mindset won't on cursing anymore. My mindset won't on trying to steal a watermelon or whatever anymore. But my mindset was on doing the will of God. Amen. And so when, I, when you or I be, became the children of God, then God began to transform us into that new creature in Christ Jesus, praise God. Amen. And that's what we became. Because at the latter part of that verse says, verse 2 says, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. For I say, through the grace given to me, verse 3, to everyone who is among you, not to think of himself more highly than he ought to think, but to think soberly. So God has dealt to each one a measure of faith. Verse 4. For as we have many members in one body, but all the members do not have the same functions, so we being many are one body in Christ and individually members of one another. Stop, let me try to explain that to you. My body here is made up of many members. 
I got a head. I got two arms. I got two legs. I got a brain. Some people may differ, but I got a brain. I can think for myself. Uh, I got on my arm, I got two ha hands, one on each hand. I got four fingers on one hand and a thumb. Four fingers, five toes. But what I'm saying is, these are members of this body, this human body. These members of this body, we, we are members, amen. I can't say that my head is more important than the finger. And my finger can't say that it's not needed. Have you tried to pick up a nickel off the table without your thumb? Hmm. Try it sometimes. Then you realize how important the thumb is. Have you tried to open a car door without your fingers? Difficult. I know a man that lost an electrician. He's in heaven today. He lost both arms in an electrical, in an electrical accident. Burnt both arms off, I mean, off, all the way to the shoulder. But he made up his mind, I know I'm handicapped, I'm going to drive a car. He engineered up a contraption that screwed a shoe to it, had a belt going around uh, the, the accelerator. And he would use that to steer the steering wheel. He had a two-door car, uh, bucket seats. He had a long pencil in, in, inside the car. He would use his knee to open the door. He would use that pencil with his mouth to turn the signals on left to right. He was a man of God called to preach. He would take that pencil and turn the pages in his Bible to read the Word of God. He did not allow his handicap to hinder him from doing what God had called him to do. So what we're talking about this morning, members, we're all that attend here when I say regularly, I'm, 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 I'm including those that attend on Thursday nights but not here on Sunday because they're some, at another, another location. That's fine. But the members that attend Growing Together Ministries, the people that watch, now we don't have per se have a membership with names written on it. Amen. If you're attending this church, amen, at least uh, a couple of times a month, you're a member of this, of this ministry. Amen. You know what I'm saying? Praise amen. God. And so you online minister that we may have never met you, or we may have talked to through, you through, through chat on Facebook or whatever, amen. You are part of the, you are a, or a member of this ministry, and you are important to this ministry, praise God. Amen. Doesn't matter whether you have a title in the church as a pastor, overseer, bishop, Sunday school teacher, uh, treasurer, whatever. Amen. You are a member of the body Amen. of the believers of Christ, and you are important. Amen. <clears throat> now, if, if uh, I know a, a, another individual, uh, individual, uh, he lost all of his finger, his three fingers. I believe it's on this hand. Uh, in an accident at work years and years ago. He's only got one, his little pinky finger and a thumb. He's got his own business, making a great living. But he learned how to operate without the three fingers. He learned how to do the work that God wanted him to do and how to take care of his family. He's got a very successful, uh, man in Martin County, very successful business and doing great, amen, and what he's doing, amen. So like I can say it doesn't matter where you, you consider yourself as a member in the body of Christ. But I want to talk about the individual members of our man. Now you're going to say, what in the world is he going to do? We're going to fix baked potatoes this morning. All right? I got some potatoes here.
I'll go later to the process of baking that potato. How many in the tabernacle will raise your hand that you, you love baked potatoes? We got 100% uh, in the audience. How many of you online will raise your hand wherever you are, if, uh, driving down the highway and, uh, at your home or whatever, uh, say, yeah, I love, I love a baked potato. We're going to talk about baked potato. You take that baked potato and you wrap it in some saran wrap and you put it in the microwave about 12 minutes, no more than 15 you'll have a baked potato. Now you put it in the oven about an hour, do the same, the same difference. Now, you cut that baked potato open. And the steam comes out of the baked potato. How will that baked potato taste just like it is? No seasoning on it. Plain. It'll be plain. But could you eat it? Would you want to eat it? <laughs> All right. What would happen if we added some cheese to it? Amen. <laughs> would that make it any better? Yeah. How about if we add some salt and pepper? Yeah. Yeah. Would that help in any? Oh, yeah. Is, is it getting better? Uh -huh. Amen. How about some good old fashioned bacon bits? With that melted cheese on top of it. Uh -huh. And when you cut it open, just the steam just boiling out of it. And, you, and of course, you've got to have butter. Yeah. Yeah. How would you like that baked potato now? Yeah. Well, let me ask you another question. How would you feel if every one of you was just like me? You're not going to hurt my feelings. It would be a boring service, wouldn't it? <laughs> what would, how would you feel if everybody, including myself, in this tabernacle was like Pastor David Ray? <laughs> <laughs> but we're not. Thank God. Pastor said it. I did. Thank God. Amen. Let us look at Romans chapter 5 at verse 3. I'm going to read it from the King James Version then I'm going to add what I need to add to it with, with these ingredients that you see on this table up here. In Romans chapter 5 verses 3 through 5. Moreover, this is also Paul same, same book as let us also be full of joy now. Let us exalt and triumph in our troubles and rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that pressure and affliction and hardship produces patience and unswerving endurance. And endurance develops maturity of character. And character produces eternal salvation. Such hope never disappoints and deludes or shames us, but for God's love has been poured out in our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has given to us. I want to read from the Amplified Version. Romans 5, verse 3. Moreover, let us also be full of joy now. I think I just really read it from the, the um, Amplified Bibles. And let us exalt and trump in our troubles and rejoice in our servants, knowing that pressure and affliction and hardship produces patience and unswerving endurance. It, yes. And endurance develops maturity of character. And character develops joyfully confident hope of eternal salvation. What is character? Character is the features and traits that forms an individual. Personality. Personality is the visible aspect that one's character is that impresses others. The sum total of the physical, the mental, emotional, and social characteristics of the individual. My character is entirely different than Sister So-and-So here. 
Your character is entirely different than mine. But you get to realize that a baked potato is okay by itself. And if you're hungry, you would eat it. But you'd rather have some salt and pepper on it. And at, le at least some butter, butter on it. Amen. Yes. So you put all the ingredients together and you've got a good baked potato. Mm -hmm. Yes. And by my way, that's my plan after church tonight is how to have, uh, have a baked potato back here. Anyway. <laughs> God up for the pastor too. <laughs> But that's why it takes some people are quiet. Mm -hmm. Some people are bold. Mm -hmm. Some people speak what's on their mind. Mm -hmm. Some people may have reservations and kind of keep quiet. Mm -hmm. That's why growing together needs all the characteristics of all the people. And you are important Amen. to the ministry of the kingdom of God. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Because the blend is in this church. Because of you is what God wanted in this church, praise God. Amen. Preach. Amen. So we started off just, just a regular potato. Mm -hmm. Pastor David started at the Hamilton end over three and a half years ago with just a few people. Mm -hmm. Over the years, some people dropped off, but others came on board, praise God. Mm -hmm. And we wish that no one had dropped off and everyone had stayed. We've had people since we've been in this location to come in and leave. We wish all of them had stayed. And maybe some of them or all of them will come back one day. I don't know, but praise God. Amen. But we need the blend, praise God, to Amen. make up the blend of growing together ministries, praise God. Hallelujah. Amen. I am so glad that I'm not like Pastor David. And I am so glad that I, he is not like me, praise God. I am so glad that he is what he is, and I am what I am. I am so glad that you are what you are, praise God. Hallelujah. The kingdom of God. Amen. Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because God made you to be you, praise God. And I've said this before, and I'll say it again. I, I heard a, a son of God preacher preach many, many, many years ago. Uh, I'm talking about probably 40, over 40 years ago, he preached that uh, <laughs> he went out and got him a Jimmy Swaggart Bible. He went out and got him a, a, a Rex Humbart suit. He went out and got him a Bill of Brand this and that. And got up and he preached and it was a flop. The anointing was not there. The anointing did not fall. And finally after the services, God, I don't understand. He said, God says, I called you to be you. I didn't call you to be Billy Graham. I didn't call you to be Rex Humbart. I didn't call you to be uh, Jimmy Swagger. I called you to be you, amen. And God has called amen. you, amen. Not amen. to be like Larry Lilly, amen. God has called you to be you, praise God. Amen. Only you amen. can be you. No one else can be that, praise God. Amen. And God needs your character, your personality, amen, to make this ministry work and do what it needs to be done, praise God. All right. Amen. Amen. It's all, if all you're able to do is pray, pray, praise God. If you're able to clean the bathroom, clean the bed, whatever. Amen. But do what God has called you to do, praise Amen. God. Amen. Be what God has called you to do, glory to God. Hallelujah, praise God. Amen. Uh, yeah, I can even actually peel that potato to eat it raw. I mean, that's how good I love potatoes. Mm. I, I can eat it raw. No. Sit down and just chew on it. I'll, I'll carry it the same way. I'll, I'll just chew, chew it away. But it tastes so much better when you put it in the microwave and you heat it up about 12 to 15 minutes. I think on that knee you put it in there at one time. About 12 minutes, you take a, a knife or a fork and it, it goes right through it. It's not no resistance. You know it's done. You know it's ready, praise God. But you gotta be careful when you take that 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 I like that every time. Don't get mad, get glad. <laughs> anyway, that clean stuff. Take it off and the steam comes out. Yeah, I, I know I'm making your mouth water because I know it's after 12 o'clock. I know everybody wants something to eat, praise God, if you didn't have any breakfast this morning. But listen, people come to the house of God. Because you're bubbling over with your character, your personality. Sister Kathy 
but a lot of times she don't say a whole lot in the car. Sometimes she does. But all the way to church this morning, she was talking about a lady she found living in Walmart. About how God, amen, the lady went bald and she prayed to God let her hair grow back and her hair is all the way down almost to her knees, praise God. Her natural hair, praise God. She was yeah. bubbling over from a testimony of a lady, a stranger she did not look with. And see, people, people, and they get encouraged by that. So people, when you walk in with your character or your flavor, whatever the flavor or the seasoning may be, amen, whatever your seasoning is, you walk in, amen, people can eat, eat on that stuff, amen. Yes. And, and be encouraged by that, praise God. Amen. So be you, be what God called you to do. And yes, we are many members, if you will, whether we're 20 or whether we're 100, we are many members, amen, and we're all part of that body, which is Christ Jesus, praise God. Hey, and you amen. are important for the kingdom of God. I am important for the kingdom of God. Don't let anyone tell you because of, of how you grew up or where you live or, or whatever it may be. Amen. Don't let anyone tell you that you are not important in the kingdom of God. You are, praise God. Amen. I don't care if they look down their nose at me. Come on, Pastor. Right. Come on. Yeah. I don't care what I, I can read through their minds, if you will, praise God. I, you, look at, you can see the facial expression of somebody and know whether uh, they, they are agreeing or disagreeing with you or, or who you are, praise God. Amen. I am what, like, what God created Larry Lily to be, praise God. Amen. Yes, I like anybody else. I love to cut up. I love the show. Amen. But be God. Amen. What God has called you to be. Amen. Don't just be a potato by itself. Amen. Make sure you're letting God add that flavor to, to your potato. Yes. I know I called her online, but uh, <laughs> Sister Kathy, uh, she flavored my potato this morning by giving the testimony of what happened to Amen. her in the store. And they, Amen. they grabbed hands in the aisle of Walmart and prayed, praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, praise God. That's what it's all about, glory to God. Yes. See, somebody is, uh, comes in, they may be smiling on their face, but deep down they're so depressed that they can hardly stand it. Amen. And you may be the one that can add flavor to their life, praise God, or I, glory Amen. to God, to bring them out of their depression. Amen. Well, they will rise up and begin to shout and praise God. Amen. I, I, I was depressed, but now I'm impressed, praise God, because what God is doing, praise yes. God. Lord. We love you. We thank you. We appreciate you. We thank God for what God is doing. Amen. Don't just be a, 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 just a blank potato. Let God add the flavor to it that needs to be added in Jesus' name. God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.